Hi, I'm Tim Nesmith, Ship Superintendent and Education Outreach Coordinator for the USS Kidd Veterans Museum. Welcome to Kid Bits. This is an educational resource video for teachers and students in the classroom. If you've never been to the museum before, a lot of people have the question, what is USS Kidd? A lot of people think she's a battleship, but she's not. She's a Fletcher-class destroyer that served in World War II, Korea, and the Cold War. So the question next becomes, what's a destroyer? A battleship's primary job was to be larger and more heavily armed than any other ship on the ocean and to go out and sink an enemy's ships. Simply put, a destroyer's role is to be a bodyguard. We protect the battleships, the aircraft carriers, and the troop and supply ships from the enemy. A battleship is over twice as long as the kid, almost three times as wide, and approximately twice as tall. The sides of a battleship are about 5 eighths of an inch in thickness with another 11 inches of steel armor on top of that. The kid has no armor. Her hull thickness is an average of 3 eighths of an inch. Our top speed is just over 43 miles per hour. The top speed for an Iowa class battleship is right at 38 miles per hour. Destroyers protect against other ships aircraft, and submarines. In World War II, you'd usually find them operating in squadrons of eight or nine. They would form an outer perimeter around the larger ships of a task force. Anyone wanting to get to the big ships had to go through them first. KID has several different weapon systems. Our main battery five-inch guns are multi-purpose and used for anti-aircraft defense, ship-to-ship -ship actions, and shore bombardments. The secondary battery of 40 millimeter guns are primarily for anti-aircraft defense, but can be used against smaller patrol boats and shore batteries, or to detonate floating mines. The 20 millimeter anti-aircraft guns are the last ditch defense against aircraft, and can also be used against small patrol boats and floating mines. Depth charges are explosives used to attack and sink submarines. They have two tracks on the fantail of the ship. The charges roll off the ship one at a time on each track, sinking down behind the ship as she sails away. The K-gun depth charge projectors along the sides of the kid propel the charges through the air to land anywhere from 60 to 150 yards away from the ship. The charges are set off by the pressure of the water as they sink, not by contact with the submarine. Kid also has five 21-inch torpedoes located in a launcher on the upper deck. Most people mistake these for missiles. Remember, KID was built before missile capability existed. These torpedoes are a battleship or carrier's worst nightmare. There's no guarantee that you'll see an enemy destroyer launching their torpedoes. As a ship captain, you're almost entirely dependent on your hydrophones or sonar to hear the torpedo's propellers cutting through the water. Or, your lookouts may spot the bubble trail of the torpedo near the surface to let you know that a torpedo is coming. Ever tried to turn a ship that's over 800 feet long and weighs over 65,000 tons and do it quickly? It's not easy. So with these weapons, destroyers can guard the ships of the fleet against enemy ships, planes, and submarines. They can even go on the attack, shifting from defense to offense. They say the best defense is a good offense, and destroyers can do both. The easiest way to see the difference between a destroyer and a battleship is to look at the Milton Bradley Hasbro board game Battleship. Destroyers are small, yes, but they're fast and maneuverable and, if used aggressively and smartly, can greatly turn the tide of a battle. A perfect example of this is the Battle off Samar in October 1944, when three destroyers like Kidd and four destroyer escorts took on a Japanese force of battleships, cruisers, and destroyers. It was truly a David versus Goliath matchup. These small ships, together with carrier aircraft, were so ferocious in their attacks and did so much damage that the Japanese commander felt that he was sailing into a trap against much larger and more numerous ships. He turned his ships around and retreated, a force that was outnumbered almost two to one and facing overwhelming firepower saved the day. Thanks for watching Kid Bits. I hope you enjoyed it. The USS Kidd Veterans Museum is a nonprofit educational organization that receives no regular state or federal funding. To book your next field trip or 
your overnight stay aboard the kid, or to access our teacher resources, click on the links below. And remember, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.